Hello everyone and welcome to my first yard sale slash flea market vlog. I wasn't planning on buying this, but this is the lesson one made by VTech. It just caught my eye because I like antiques. These go for around 5 to 20 bucks. I bought some 1972 election pins last week, so I decided to pass on these. These aren't the same though. I also checked the box for watches. There was no good watches in there. These coke trays were $4 a piece. They're from the 90s. I decided to pass on them because my booth is already overflowing with stuff. I also passed on this 1934 printing of the Peter Rabbit book. In this condition, they aren't really that desirable, but ones in good condition go for around 10 to 20 bucks. I noticed these Skylanders. I sell these for $3 a piece up in my booth, but I decided to pass on them because, like I said, my booth is overflowing. But when you look for Skylanders, look for the Imaginators. These are the ones for, with diamond bases, and these sell for a lot more money on eBay. Also, I noticed these watches on the way in. I decided to pass on them because I have got very similar watches to this, such as the Star Wars one being in my booth for over a few months now, so, and they haven't sold, so I decided to pass on these collector watches. These Coke trays go for around 20 to 40 bucks a piece. He was asking 20 bucks a piece, so I decided to pass on them. I've sold them in the past. I purchased this Timex and Band for 50 cents. One in similar condition was going for $10 on eBay, but I plan to list this in a lot for parts and repair. For $5, I bought this bag of well over 500 Pokemon cards, which was an amazing deal because some of them are the 25th anniversary cards and they go for well over $5 just alone. I only got one purchase on camera, this being the GoBot for $3. Originally it was for $5, but I was able to talk him down. I was also interested in these superheroes. He was asking $100 for everything, but I decided to pass on those. This helped as the first episode, and eventually in this future I'll bring you guys along with me to more Philly markets and yard sales so you guys can learn how what I see and also how I price things. That's really it for everything that I found. Thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing, and see ya.